Come on in. I'm John with the Pneumatic Hydraulics here in Houston, Texas. And we're going to do a little uh, training on Haskell uh, liquid pumps. Some of the things that uh, I see when they come in for repair is uh, the filtration, either the, the liquid side or the air side. Um, this is one of our rentals, this is a uh, hydro tester. Now this has all the gauges, relief, or the air regulator and the gauges. Now we have an air filter, water separator. Um, depending on your air, you may have a lot of moisture in it. Uh, prior to running it, you may want to crack it open, blow whatever water that's in there out, because the water ended up migrating into the air drive and washing out the lube from the O-rings. And we're going to get into that in a little bit. There's also a water filter. If you're using city water, uh, the lines at your facility may have rust in them. Any type of rust that's getting into the lines and going to the pump is going to be caught by the filter. Without a filter, you would end up getting the uh, water into the check assembly of the pump. And once the, the ball checks are not seating properly, the pump will not function. So you're not going to build pressure. So a little preventive maintenance uh, uh, when you do get a Haskell pump and uh, change your water filter periodically once it starts getting uh, dark, uh, that's going to impregnate it with the dirt and rust and you're not going to get the flow you need. Now, uh, these are uh, one, and horse, one and a half horsepower Haskell pumps or five and three quarter inch air drives. It's a single air drive and a double air drive. So basically we're doing, this is a 35, we put two air barrels on it and it makes it a 72. Um, this is your air cycling valve retainer, your muffler. We have one on, one facing with a 90. Now these are set in a, uh, a cabinet or some type. You don't need to pull the boost, the pump out of the cabinet to do this. But what you do need to do is ensure that your air supply is turned off and you know have no pressure on the pump. Um, first thing you do is once you've verified that and tagged out your system, um, you'll take a wrench, loosen up the retainer, go ahead and unscrew it from the uh, lower cap. Now there's two O-rings. There's an outer O-ring and an inner O-ring. You want to make sure that inner O-ring is there. Uh, that seals on the end of the spool, which we're going to remove right now. Now this is your air cycling valve spool. This is what uh, operates the pump. The, uh, the pistons will move up and down and this is directional. So in one direction the air is flowing to push the piston up. The other direction the air is on top pushing it down. That's where you get reciprocation. Now depending on how often you use the pump uh, will determine when you need to inspect these O-rings and apply some Haskell lube on the O-rings to uh, keep them running correctly. Um, if you're running 24-7, when you have downtime, maybe uh, say every three weeks for the first time, just take it out and check your O-rings and then determine from then when you want to uh, take and do this, um, perform this maintenance. You want to visually inspect all your O-rings, make sure they're intact, none are missing, none are broken. Um, if any O-rings are missing, then the pump will not function correctly. You also want to take and make sure that this O-ring is in here and there's some resistance when it's in there because that's part of your uh, return. This O-ring needs to be here, that's a seal. You don't need duct or, uh, uh, Teflon tape on these fittings to, to seal it. That O-ring will seal. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and open up our packet of uh, Haskell lube. Uh, part number 50866 is a NovaGuard uh, G321. Uh, I recommend not using the inline lubricator for two reasons. One, it has a tendency to react with some O-rings, depending on the oil you're using. And once these O-rings swell, this spool will get stuck and not operate. The other thing too is that when you've got oil inside this air drive, this is being expelled out this muffler. So if you have this in a, a lab doing testing, and you've got oil being blown out all over the place. So the Haskell lube, um, We'll, we'll stay on the O-rings, it will also migrate into the air drive, so it's coming through, going into the air drive, and coming back. So the, these O-rings will stay uh, pretty much lubricated. And I said depending on the, the length of time they're run, 
how clean your water, your air is, uh, lack of moisture. Uh, dry air is better. Uh, a little moisture is all right, but you want it washing out the lube. And normally what I'll do is I'll take and put three lines of lube on the uh, spool. Go ahead and work it in. On the tip, I want to get some lube on there because that's where that O-ring is going to run. Go ahead and reinstall the spool. Take the excess, go ahead and wipe it off. Get it on the outer O-ring. Wipe my hands off real quick. Go ahead and reinstall your retainer. Thread that back in. Hand tight. Then go ahead and snug it down about a quarter turn. It doesn't take a lot to snug it down. There is a bumper in the in the bottom. It's a rubber bumper. You don't want to damage that bumper. We have a piece that prevents it from operating. Now you notice that the uh, muffler is, is a little bit different on this one here. As I said, if it's in the uh, mounted to the bulkhead, they say you remove your muffler so you can turn the retainer. Listen up, take retainer off and do the same thing. Uh, lubricate, inspecting the O-rings, then re-putting it back in without having to take it off the, uh, the bulkhead or out of the system. Uh, now we talked about filtering the inlet of the pump. Um, having a filter is great, however, you want to make sure that from the filter to the pump that you have non-ferrous piping, tubing, going to, because if you've got something that's got rust in it, that filter is doing nothing. Uh, you're going to contaminate the liquid section and then your pump's going to fail. So that's pretty much it on the, uh, the Haskell liquid pumps, the 5 3 quarter uh, air drives. Uh, next time we'll go ahead and take a gas booster and do some preventive maintenance on that. So, y'all have a great day and be safe.